Hi guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm a little moved over today because I'm going to go ahead and do a video today that Samantha March created, chatting over new makeup, what's coming out soon, and basically whether or not I want it. <laughs> do I want it? Am I going to buy it? Am I going to pass it over it? All of that. Um, so there is a website, or there is actually a a trend mood. It's called Trend Mood on Instagram. And it always has such good information on new makeup that's coming out um, from all brands. Uh, drugstore, um, indie brands, high-end brands, all of it. So I figured we'd go ahead and chit-chat about that and whether or not I want these things. And I'm going to pop up pictures here of what I can find and just, you know, and give you the information. Again, uh, Trend Mood on, it's Trend Mood 1 on face, on Instagram. I will link them down below. Um, I'm trying to decide how far down I want to go. Oh, you know what? These MAC lipsticks. Okay, so MAC is coming out with these new lipsticks that look beautiful. They have, they're different because they have the bullet like this. They have the bullet only the top of it is either pink or purple depending on what color is actually in the bullet. Um, they started out with one um, with a collaboration with Mary J. Blige, but they're about to come out with a bunch of them August 1st So we have a little a little under a month for it, but it looks Amazing. Oh my gosh these purple lids. Oh, I know there's also red lips pink purple and red lips lids and there's one called let them eat cake that I I totally want <laughs> um, They are beautiful. Oh, I love these just just the aesthetic of the actual lipsticks themselves are gorgeous um, And then moving up Let's see there is a Jouer Cosmetics Molten Glow All Over Highlighter um it is a luxury, luxurious face and body highlighter that gives you a ultimate luminous radiant glow with one swipe of the petite kabuki brush included in the set. Hmm. Um, it's like a it's it's a big highlighter. I'm probably gonna pass on this. It looks beautiful. Um, it's more of a goldy highlight. I prefer more of a more of a, I prefer more of a like a a white base um, like silvery highlight. I don't, I don't, gold is a little stark on me, so I don't know. Um, I might swatch it, but I'm probably going to pass over that. Um, let's see, the next thing is uh, Natasha Denona, the Chrome Crystal, Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow. Now feature a new, okay. The Chrome Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow by Natasha Denona now feature a new lustrous liquid formula creating a sensational next level sparkling effect with five edgy and iridescent shades. Okay, um, so they have Zone, which is a white greenish gold duochrome with metallic finish, Sienna, which is a green copper with a metallic finish, Moonstone, which is a nude champagne with a metallic finish. Uh, Nightfall, a deep eggplant with a bronze pink bronze, bronze pink shimmer with metallic finish. Now that sounds amazing. And Abad, Abad, Abade, golden bronze with metallic finish. Um, honestly, Nightfall sounds like my kind of color, but I, I, these are like, let's see, they're $25 each for 0 0.27 ounces. Natasha Denona, N Natasha Denona. I love her pressed eyeshadow, but I'm I like the Stila ones. The Stila one, I, I don't I don't know if it's on here, but Stila just came out with matte um, liquid eyeshadows, kind of like their shimmer and glow and their glitter and glows. I'm all over that. I'm getting those as soon as I can. <laughs> um, but I'll probably pass over the Natasha Denona ones. Let's see. Um, Morphe has a new bronzer. I don't really. I don't think I own anything from Morphe. I used to own the setting spray, which was nice, you know. Um, I don't know. Morphe is one of those brands that doesn't really excite me, doesn't really catch my attention too much. Uh, I don't think that they're bad. Um, I've heard kind of mixed reviews on certain products, but I think I'm going to pass on those bronzers. These hourglass eyeshadows look amazing. If you love scattered light glitter eyeshadow, the hourglass 
by Hourglass are new shades. So they're new shades of their existing glitter eyeshadow, scattered light glitter eyeshadow, and they are beautiful. There's so many different colors. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. There's five different. There's five different shades, but they only have four here. Burnish, Rapture, Rain, Vivid. So what's the fifth, what's the fifth one? I don't know. They're really, really, really pretty though. There's a green and like a bronzy color and like a rosy color. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh. Okay. All right. Um, I'll probably swatch those in perfect person. Oh, but they're even more expensive than the Natasha Nodona. They're $29. Um, I'll swatch them. I doubt it. Maybe with a coupon. Maybe with a coupon, I would. I, I think I would rather get these than the other ones, just because I like the um, the Stila the Stila liquid eyeshadows. I'm pretty loyal to those, but these are like a pressed glitter eyeshadow. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe with a coupon. Viseart has a new Alco Alico the Downtown Palette, um, and. Uh, that celebrates the unique and vibrant spirit of downtown New York City. Oh, it's pretty. It's got a lot of pretty colors. Um, it's got a teal in there, like a mint green, a dark plum, uh, a dark, a darker green, like a foresty green, and some shimmery colors. I don't know that the color story really like goes together. Um, uh, this, but this is an eighty dollar palette. This is one of their eighty dollar palettes. They have like mini petite ones. That I'm interested in. Um, they just came out with a couple, like two new ones that are thirty-eight dollars, and they're like they're considered the mini ones. I I think I'd be more interested in that those than this. This just these colors are pretty. That just I don't feel like that's a cohesive palette. I don't feel like I could make too many looks with that. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking if you kind of take. Uh, if you take the squares on the bottom, like the, the four pans on the bottom on each side and look at it like that, it could be like quads. And the ones on the top can kind of just add accents to it. Like the pink one on top would definitely be like a transition, but I don't know. I think I'd pass on that. Um, Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Jenner. Kylie Cosmetics is celebrating the 4th of July with a new gloss set. The High Gloss Collection. Um, okay, I, I'm not a, I've never tried Kylie Cosmetics. I've heard, I've heard good things about them, but I've also heard that their formula is a lot like ColourPop liquid, eye, liquid um, lipsticks, and I'm allergic to those, so I'm very wary <laughs> of trying anything by her, just because that, that formula I know doesn't work with my lips, so it gives me a breakout. Um, but apparently these are out now came out on the 4th of July, which was yesterday when I'm filming this, so that's cool. So if you're interested in Kylie, she's got a new lip gloss set. Ooh, now this I'm certainly interested in, and I'm I'm trying to figure out, like, because the only thing I can find out, I can see, is that you can only get it on um, a website from the UK, so that'd be like shipping would take forever. And I know they're out now, um, because I was looking at these. And they're the Laura, I'm sorry, Lisa, El, Laura, the Lisa Eldridge lipstick. It's the Lisa El, Eldridge makeup, which is a, she's a, she's this, um, basically she, she runs, uh, Lancome makeup, but she's also a makeup artist. She also has her own YouTube channel. She's beautiful. She's amazing. She's got amazing tips. Um, she released not too long ago a, a line of, well, probably about a year ago now actually, a line of red lipsticks that were, looked so gorgeous, but um, I'm, I don't really wear red. I like to buy like cheap reds because I don't wear it often enough to have like a fancy red. Um, but these are pink <laughs> and they're gorgeous. Um, they're, they're like different shades of pink. There's a, like a bright pink, almost like a uh, fruit punch kind of pink um, and then there's a lighter pink there's a darker pink 
uh, Go Lightly a Light Bright Salmon Pink with Pastel Undertones. Love My Life, a Medium True Rosy Pink Sheer, Semi Sheer Lipstick. Not too blue, not too red. I think I'd like that one. Rainbow Spill, an Ultra Bright Watermelon Pink with a Muted Neon Edge and a Demi Matte Finish. Uh, skyscra sky skyscraper Rose and electro Electrically Modern Fuchsia Pink. Hmm. I kind of like I kind of like Skyscraper Rose and Love My Life. Those are the two that I think I would I would get. But like I said, you can only get them from the UK. So I'd have to figure out, you know, if I'm gonna have to pay customs and all of that. I'm really really interested in these. So I'm really I'm really interested in these. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on those. Um. Okay, uh, limited edition red packaging pink nude for the new YSL Rouge Contour lipsticks coming around September. Okay, so they're just limited edition. It doesn't say that there's anything about new colors or anything. They're just, the packaging is limited edition. I hate YSL lipsticks. <laughs> Um, I don't have any, I don't, I don't remember having any problems with the formula. In fact, I remember the formula being very, very nice. Um, I know that people love the YSL lipsticks. I cannot get past the smell. I cannot get past the smell. It's like a, um, peach, like a peachy smell, but it reminds me of like a car air freshener and I hate it, especially because it lingers. Like the one I had a long time ago, I don't know if they still smell like this, if they're still like this, but it like... I can still smell that disgusting smell. And that's just personal preference. If you don't mind like peach smell, like an artificial peach smell, you know, I would say go into the store and like put it on, you know, like smell it, but don't put it on your lips. Mm -mm. But smell it, <laughs> put it on your hand. Um, but I can't, I, I will never get another YSL lipstick. First of all, they're really expensive. And second of all, no. The packaging is adorable though. I'm not gonna lie. That's adorable. Let's see. Um, ColourPop. ColourPop uh, has two new empty palettes. The Palm Tree Large Palette and the Palm Tree Small Palette. So basically what you do is you um, you get these empty palettes and they have pretty signs and then you fill them up with whatever single shadows or single blushes you want. They also have a uh, curated palette for $40, uh, which includes the large palm top palette, and um, it has, you know, it has two blushes, and then, uh, what is it, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen eyeshadows. That's not bad for 40 bucks. That's not bad. I'd rather, I'd rather create my own, though, than get a curated one by ColourPop. Um, I'd rather make my own, just my my opinion. Okay, Estee Lauder has a new collection out. Uh, Estee and Duro? Okay. When fashion and beauty come together, what a beautiful collection. It's a Nigerian-born British fashion designer, Duro, ooh, I'm going to mispronounce this, Alau, is renowned around the world for his brilliant clash of color, pattern, and texture. The London-based designer work, designer's work Celebrates freedom of expression, individuality, and timeless international style. Okay, all right. That's actually that. That's actually really pretty. I like the packaging. The packaging is awesome. It's got polka dots and and different colors and everything. I like the eyeshadow palettes. Those are pretty. Okay. Again, these are something that I'd have to see in person. Ooh, it's pretty on the model. Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty colors. Ooh. Yeah, I would definitely have to see these in person, but I really love the packaging. I'm, I would definitely be interested in swatching these in person. Now this I was interested in. Miyash Cosmetic is continuing their travel palettes. Um, they're adding three palettes to their series. So there's two eyeshadow palettes, um, which are Beautiful in Barcelona and Summer in Trope Tropez, Tropez? <laughs> probably mispronouncing that um and they're they're 16 pan eyeshadows and I really 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 like um I think it's yeah beautiful in Brazil is the one that I'm really liking 
I like that color story more. Um, though that sizzle color in the Saint Tropez one is really pretty too. But the thing I'm really interested in is the blush palette. And purely, purely because of the name and the packaging. <laughs> it is called Glowing in Grease. And I just got back from Greece, and oh my god, it's so pretty. But I do like the colors as well. But the packaging on that with the um, the Greek symbol that means eternal life, and then the I mean, look at those blushes. They're peachy colors. They're really pretty, and then they've got really pretty like highlighter colors: um, Mykonos, Paros, Santorini, Athens, Milos, and Olympia. Oh, I want that. I want that. Um, let's see if it says available July 10th online at BH Cosmetics. Hopefully they'll come into Ulta, but if not, I might be making my first purchase off of BH Cosmetics. Hey, okay. I'm so excited about that though. I want that palette and I'm sorry, the eyeshadow palette, actually they're, they're all $16 each. They're all $16 each, the eyeshadow palettes and the blush palette. I might get the, um... The Beautiful in Barcelona and the Glowing in Greece. So there's Unique Beauty is coming out with a with an ice cream palette. Okay, so there's been like the taco palette and and the burger palette and the pizza palette and I don't know if this is the same brand, but this is a ice cream palette. It's in the shape of an ice cream. I don't know. I don't I don't understand. It's cute. It'd be a pain in the butt to, uh, ooh, the swatches are pretty. It'd be a pain in the butt to store. I don't know what this brand is, and it looks like it is in the UK from, inspired by the love of ice cream from Italy, and it's $49.99, it's 49 pounds and 99 cents. So, um, oh, I'm sorry for that. That's for the bag, and that's for a bag that you get with it, as well as the palette. Uh, I don't... It doesn't say what the palette is by itself. Eh, I'll pass on that. I would definitely just pass on that. Um, okay. Okay. So that looks like everything for right now. Again, I'm filming this on Friday, the Friday, July 5th. So that's what I see right now. Um, that is coming down on Trend Mood, according to that. Um, that I, that caught my attention at all, whether or not it be yes or no for me. Hopefully you liked this style of video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload, and I'll see you in my next one.